So I'm going to be trying to repair this Smeg burner. Uh, the problem with it is the biggest burner here. If I turn it on, it doesn't stay on. What I think is that it's a broken thermocouple. So for example, this, this one stays on. So I've bought the spare part from Smeg Repairs, which is the uh, thermocouple. So I'm going to try and fit it. So first of all, we have to uh, switch off the gas and switch off the electricity. And I'll probably pull the oven out a bit as well so I can get at it. So this is the gas down here. I turn that off. Uh, turned off. And what I'm also going to do is just burn out the remaining gas in the oven. There shouldn't be that much there. You can hear it dying. There we go. That'll do. I'm just going to turn off the electricity here. And this will mean that you have to reset the clock afterwards. So the next thing to do is pull it out a bit. I haven't pulled it out all the way. Um, just so I can get to the back. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this off. And there are some screws underneath. Underneath here. Actually right underneath. There's big ones. So I'm just going to be taking those off. There's only two screws. Um, I'm going to make sure that I keep them safe so I'm going to be using this Tupperware thing. Just to do that. So I've taken the screws out, it just looked like that. And then this just pulls off like that. So I'm just going to put this over here. Um, next job is to pull all the knobs off. And these just, uh, these just pull off. You just, you just grab them and you just tug. A bit stiff, but they just pull off. Um, so I'm going to line all these up. So I'll just do that now. Pull off. Also, I'm just going to get another little ramekin for these little uh, plastic knobs here. And the same thing again, you just pull them off. They just pop out. So I'm just, just going to make sure that I keep them safe. thing you have to do I'll take all these off actually and these plates um, take them all off there you go yeah so this is the uh, thermocouple broken this guy that doesn't work so 
this thing I'll be replacing. Um, so the next thing I need to do is there's some screws underneath this thing. There's three. One, two, three. It's under underneath this. So I need to get rid of those. To taken I'm just taking those screws off this front plate just comes off. But you have to be careful because there's still some these things are still attached. Um, so I'm just going to put that into there. And make sure there's no like, pressure, too much pressure on these these wires. Got the lights at the front. You'll feel you'll find there's a grease on your fingers and stuff. Um, so I actually haven't done this before, so. I'm making it up, but I think I've got to undo these screws. Um, and they look to me like a torque bit. I mean, you could use a flat head, but a torque, torque um, screwdriver head would be easier to get out. So that's what I'm going to use to get them out. This is a T15 torque screwdriver head, and yeah, that fits. So I'm just going to undo all these, all these screws on the top plate. Once you remove those screws, this should start coming off, and it doesn't come off straight away. Because there are some, I think there are some more at the back that are stopping it. I think that plate there is stopping it. So I'm going to undo those. Do you see that metal plate thing? So I'm going to undo those screws and uh, see if they come off, see if it comes off. I managed to wiggle this thing out of the back. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to come off, but it was, it did loop around the gas pipe thing, so I'm going to be careful of that. I think there's a similar one on the other side, which I'm also going to take off. Yeah, there was, there was this thing on the other side. Um, so that's come off as well. Hopefully this, this uh, metal thing should pop off, although it still feels a bit attached somewhere. Investigate. So it looks like there's some screws at the front here that are somehow blocking it. If I've undone them, they're really hard to undo. Um, I'm not sure if this is quite right. Um, and I still can't quite get it off. So I'm going to keep investigating. But as you can see, like it's almost off. I'm being careful not to hit these uh, little poles. Being gentle. Um, don't want to break anything else. I'm gonna carry on trying to wiggle it off slowly. So it's these little plastic bits here that were uh, keeping it on. So the technique was to basically pull this from one way. I just pulled the whole thing gently, gently that way. And I've clipped it on here, and then the other one came off. So I think I've kind of messed with them a little bit. So I'm going to try and put them back. Um, but yeah, there you can see there's the inside of the oven. So this little bolt on the uh, top of the thermocouple is quite hard to get off. And I've tried with the spanner, I've tried with more grips, and just seems to be starting to destroy the edge of it. So I'm going to spray it with WD-40, give it a little clean up and might try and get it from the bottom. So I undid this little bit, just a touch, and so I could spin this uh, thing. And that enables me to get access to the, to the thermocouple. So the way I've managed to start unscrewing it is put some mole grips on the top. Nah. And 
He just, just uses normal spanner for the bottom. I'm slowly undoing it. So now I've just undone it. And uh, just undo this. Right here. That's just coming off now. So I've got this old thermocouple off now. It wasn't that easy to get off, but I'm gonna um, try and fit the new one now. This one is the new one from the Smeg Repairs. Smeg Spare Parts. I'm just gonna open it up and, and try and put it in where the other one was. I put the new one in place. It doesn't come with a, uh, a nut. So I'm going to take the nut off the old one and just use that instead. Okay, now I've put this back in, back on, screwed it up. Now I need to plug this thing into here. Like so. We'll wiggle it in, I think. There we go. And now, I'm going to test if it works or not. So I'm going to put the burners back on really gently. Um, can I just put this burner back on? Now I'm going to test if it works. I've put one knob back on. I put the burners back on. Turn it on. Turn the gas on. Now will it stay on? Look at that. Works like a charm. Fixed it. And there it is, back together. Turn the electrics and the gas back on. And moment of truth for the second time. Look at that. Staying on beautifully. Fixed.